I won a game on every server in Apex Legends, starting off with my home server. Oh my god, it's Harry Potter. Okay, too many Vatapiers, I think. And while our drunk driver decided that Mirage Voyage was our drop spot for game one, over the next 10 games, I'd be traveling around the globe to play on every region's servers, dropping five 4Ks, multiple 20 bombs, and playing on near zero ping. This won't be the last time you see me rezzing Jack. And if you're wondering why it's only 10 games when there are way more than 10 servers in Apex, it's because Apex servers are linked by region, meaning I don't have to go through and play on every single data center in a specific region because it's going to put me in the same server anyway. I need the... Uh, I need the... Uh, execution. What does he need? I think he needs a Philosopher's Stone. Friends. What do you say? Cheeky friends or thank you friend? Cheeky friend. Cheeky friends. So with Skyhook being clear, me and the cheeky friends ventured our way across the lands looking for strange and magical creatures, and it wasn't long before we found one. And after putting down these interesting specimens, you don't play the game. You don't. You're not real. No, it's a bit of a true predators. Thanks, King. Keep going after Voldemort. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we bid farewell to our cheeky friend Potter and made our way across the pond to our first foreign server, New York. <laughs> Where I decided to play as Bloodhound, because apparently it's normal to see through walls out here. Wait, what the f- Our first game on American soil was pretty dodgy, to be honest. Hello, Wrinkle Bay. Wrinkle- Wrinkle Bay? <laughs> I don't know what's coming out of my mouth at the moment. That would be a strange only fans account. <laughs> at Wrinkle Bay. Pay per view. Pay per wrinkle. <laughs> oh. But we queued into game two in good spirits. At a million subs, I'll play Apex Legends on my ass. Jeez, cut Good if that's not a good reason to subscribe, then honestly, I, I don't know what else you expect from me. And while we're on the topic of juicy things, the start of this game was shaping up to be an all-round banger. Ka-chow. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't have a million subs. I don't have a catchphrase. That's right, comment section. It's your time to shine. Comment your best ideas for what my catchphrase should be for a chance to be pinned and featured in the next video. Also, please like the video. I'm running out of ideas. After getting slam dunked by about five teams, Jack and I retreated towards Harvester to... Ka-chow. <laughs> and also to... Wingman. Ka-chow. Yeah, we probably deserved it when we got shot in the back from staging. That's not very kachow of them. Hello. Oh my, go back, go back, go back. Return to monkey. Forty-three on one. Fifty. Hundred. Dead. Let's go. Well Crypto, who was clearly impressed with our questionable English gameplay, had actually stayed in the game after being killed almost 10 minutes ago, so we worked our way in towards Fragment so that we could bring him back. Can you run over to the res? It'll yeah. be quicker if you do. Go res. Where, where are you going? Ah, uh, yes. New York servers. Oops. 
can't stay up there. 140, can't do it. I'm gonna. Ow. Okay. Got him. Right, can't do it. Bro. Yeah. I need him to EMP. Yep. Good boy. Good boy, Crypto. Good boy. Yoink. No. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Following a cheeky little 5k damage and 19 kill win, we jump back into the Trident and full send into our first Asian server, Singapore. Where our random teammate was showing a different kind of skill set. Disconnected. Teammate already left. Hey, disconnected. Nice oh, fast dis disconnect and reconnect in history. It was only after wiping the first squads that we realized why this challenge just got a whole bunch harder. Hey. Mate, I'm on fridge of pink. There's 40 people still alive. Fine, you get a 20 in this. Since we're from the UK, unfortunately, the ping on New York servers is at least playable, but over here on Asian servers, we'd be playing on upwards of 300 ping in most games. Well played. Come on, we gotta go. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, what was that? Hell? I mean, thanks for the tower, I guess. Oh, I'm landing on someone's head. We haven't seen you. He's clueless. Oh, he's, cl he's actually clueless. He's level five. <laughs> he's like a little puppy, that bloodhound. The race for the 20 bomb was becoming a lot closer than I'd hoped for, and being on 300 ping, I needed Jack to be on his A game. So when I knocked someone on the local bike shed camping rampart team, <laughs> oh, no. I think that's reached that's him. One. It was his time to shine. Oh mate, look at that! Oh, oh, oh that's a sick out. Oh mate, I just got rinsed. Twenty centimeter and booty fire. <laughs> Got them. Nice. Twenty centimeter. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked one. And with just two more kills needed for the twenty bomb, things were starting to get a little spicy down in Singapore. I, I cracked one on the hill behind us. Oh. The last bit, the last I missed? But he can't live that. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 there we go. Uh... That's three games down, and with a 20 bomb and almost a 5k in the bag, we went to Hong Kong servers with high hopes, especially after a champ screen like this. Uh... Little did we know that we were about to be hit with the biggest reality check possible. Yeah, this is the number one kills player across all platforms. Bro has over double my account kills as kill leader. And things weren't much better in the next game. When I realized that I had just the 340 ping this game. Nobody knows how to play Rampart, do they? I've played Rampart so much. I've learned so many little unique tips and tricks. Before we knew it, we found ourselves in an intense endgame battle with the final two squads. Our time in Hong Kong was over with a pretty standard win. And for now, my time with Jack was over too, as I queued into Sydney alone. 
For some reason, despite being way further away than Hong Kong, my ping on Sydney server wasn't as bad, even if it was still up near 300. And thanks to some interesting local Aussie players, I was on red armor before round 1 had even closed, meaning I was in perfect shape to make this another banger game. Oh my god, mate. Well, if you don't know why I keep mentioning the ping, you do now. The final battle of Sydney took place in the bustling city centre, Landslide, where Rampart was doing Rampart things. Fuse was fashionably late with his ult. And the man with the most Australian Apex name I've ever seen was vibing. For some reason, these dudes were still on blue shield, so they were a quick wipe, meaning we were in for a 3v3 for the win. And all I needed was for Fuse to... <laughs> Racking, mate. Fuck, sick game. Left us on 19 kills and 4k damage. And I was ready to leave this upside down country and go somewhere far, far away. Nothing will stop me. Not even. The paid actor himself was back for round two and joined me in Sao Paulo for a game that would surely go down in history as the game of all time. <laughs> Wait, hello. You're not a bike. You're a pathfinder. But you know what I mean? If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. Send your fuse. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an angle. Bro, what have I just seen? That is an authentic fuse player. After getting gatekept by the Brazilian boys in Terminal, we worked our way behind them and managed to take height, meaning the gatekeepers had become the gate cat. I did not want to be on this ping longer than I needed to be, so after a heroic effort from Jack to craft and res me, I came in from the sky ready for round two of being gatekept. Rampart one, dead. Nice, last one's Octane, the sweat. He died. Another pretty standard win in Brazil meant that we left with six wins under our belt. And after waiting in Bahrain's queue for way, way too long, we realized that this server is absolutely dead. There's 0% chance I'm getting a game here. So instead, it was off to Dallas, Texas, where I bought out Mad Maggie because things around here tend to get a bit rowdy. Dead. Well, wasn't that just the most rowdy thing you've ever seen? And since I don't have a 20 kill badge on Maggie yet, this one was actually going to be special. Yay!
just a few short hours away in Oregon, we were met with a warm welcome from the local Revmain. Hello, knuckleheads. So I replied warmly with a hello, Season 19 Master, which he didn't like very much. Yes. Get off me. Oh, there he goes. Hey, he's just stopped picking. On me, on me, on me, on me. Yeah, I'm rising. Zip, come for the zip. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Get a hell of a look at this guy. Oh, this zip. One zipping up. Up behind us. Cracked. The whole team knocked one. Okay. Round two, round two, round two. 91. Lads. They're actually not real. And after taking down a couple more paid actors from the closest server to Hollywood, I realized that the real knuckleheads were still at large. I think this rampart might be boosting a 4k. She is. She's just boosting she on reses. She is. She's boosting. That's so cringe. <laughs> I can't see her. There, there she is. All cracked. Yeah, she killed the rampart, rampart herself. Embarrassing. She was like, don't let them have the kill. Buster's badge. CFG 300. Respawn. Please ban this man. After an extremely balanced and fair distribution of kills in game 8, <laughs> it was time to play on Tokyo. I'd love to say this game was filled with funny moments and insane gameplay, but it was mostly just us running around in slow motion, getting a kill here or there, and then running around again in slow motion. I did manage to find myself a Kraber though, and you know what that means. <laughs> Oh, this poor lifeline. Okay, I don't think they were real. Huh? It's on the height. Another rampart. Oh. Another monumental dub in the bag. It was time for our final game. A server I didn't even know existed before this challenge. In the end though, this challenge taught me a few things about Apex Legends. Mainly that the matchmaking is still very sus, and that it doesn't matter what server you play on, you're always gonna have pretty much the same enemies no matter where you go. The fact that over the course of just one day of filming, I was able to get so many high kill games and high damage games across all the different servers in the world showed me that most things in Apex stay consistent no matter what. Especially the Fuse players. I'm so slow, I'm up Fuse's bum. Yep, his ring of fire. <laughs> and if you thought this conversation was interesting, it led to another interesting conversation, as Jack schooled me on how the hunt mode actually worked. Oh, they're nearby. Gotta watch out on the map. That doesn't mean they're nearby. It means we're being hunted. No, have you not noticed? The counters go up when you're close. Danger, they're close. No, that's not true. Uh, spoiler alert, he was right. Suck me drone. And with our final 4k, we finished the challenge of winning on every server in Apex Legends. If you got this far, comment Gibby Stye save lives for some reason, and watch the video on screen for more brain rot Apex Legends content.